Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 25 Ultimate Team season. This is the new season. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win the Super Bowl a couple of days ago. I believe they uploaded like two days ago or something like that. And um, actually, we didn't even get to play the game. The guy quit as I was looking at his lineup. So, uh, I don't know, man. There's like a voodoo of whenever I look at somebody's lineup, uh, it's been like a disconnect. So, uh, sometimes I don't even, like, throughout the season, you'll see me, I don't even pause it to look at my, my guy's lineup. Like, right here, you know, after the kickoff, I look at my opponent's lineup, I'm scrolling through, I'm taking a look, he's definitely got himself a decent team, uh, you know, some good playmakers, and then, bam, uh, he ends up quitting. Like, not a disconnect, he quit the game, like, he quit out. So, I don't know what's up with the look at your opponent's uh, lineup voodoo. So, this game, we actually, I wasn't planning on it, but... Uh, my opponent actually paused it so that I was like, you know, what, let me take advantage of that and show you guys uh, his lineup as we go on to this gameplay. So uh, we are already 1-0. And, and uh, like I said, he paused it. So we're going to go on ahead and take a look at his lineup. Uh, you know, budget Alex Smith. You know, he's got some decent receivers. He's definitely, uh, I, I want to say his team is, looks like it's like a 92, 93 at the most. Uh, definitely... Uh, not comparable to my overpowering 99 team. It's a fumble. First play of the game, man. We get a sack, which leads into a fumble, which eventually leads into a Drew Brees um, QB sneak. So, you guys are wondering about the team. I believe I did a video showcasing the very first game of the divisional round. I showed you guys my lineup. Uh, it has not changed from that game to this game. So, um, defense, offense, everything is exactly the same. So, uh, here we go back again on defense, man. And, uh, you know, just hopefully we can continue to uh, put the pressure on them and force mistakes. You know, when you have such an overwhelming advantage in overall, like to me, anything over three is a big advantage. You know, if you're a 94 overall and you go up against a 96 overall, I think that right there is a, a you know, decent matchup. But if you go up against a 97 or higher, you know, to go up one overall point takes a lot of players. You know what I mean? I remember... Uh, I loaned somebody a few players like a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. I don't know how long ago. And I gave him uh, 99 Warren Sapp. The day he came out, I actually pulled him. And, uh, you know, so I loaned him him, 99 Brian Dawkins, you know, a whole bunch of players, probably like six or seven players. And it only brought me down one point, you know, getting rid of all those guys, you know. So uh, being able to do all that. So, um, you know, and, you know, him having a 93 and me having a 99 is definitely a huge difference in, in overall. And, and that's what can make Mutt very frustrating for a lot of people. It's the fact that, you know, you get matched up against teams that are nowhere near the vicinity, you know, of yours. There is no matchmaking uh, skill or there is no skill level that they place you in. They just literally match you up with anybody and anybody who's free to play. You know, I've been a 99 overall and literally matched up with a starter team. You know, where everybody's a 75 to 80 overall. And I'm thinking to myself, how is this even fair? I've been in that position where I've had, you know, a 80 overall team. And you go up against a 96, 97 overall team. You're like, yo, how in the world is this fair right here? You know, so um, when when you're on the, the receiving end of that, like when you're going up against the lower team, uh, definitely is uh, soothing, you know, <laughs> knowing that uh, you don't have to go up against the super team. You know, I am the super team in this instance. So, uh, you know, just definitely want to sit back, put the pressure on them, and, you know, uh, let my players do what it is I bought them to do. You know, make plays. You know, I have a lot of high caliber players, and, you know, I definitely expect them to make things easier for me on defense, which is why I got them. Right here, he throws a dot right over towards the back of the end zone. He catches the touchdown. And he ends up uh, kicking it onside the very next uh, ensuing kickoff, which we do recover, thankfully. So 14-7 uh, to 7 right here, you know, still just trying to keep the ball on the ground, run the ball. You know, I'm running the ball, you know, decent amount. Even though um, out of Kansas City, I don't tend to run the ball too much. But, you know, my linemen are way better than his defensive linemen, you know. So, uh, again, try to take advantage of the matchup, you know what I mean? Just trying to... Uh, you know, it's a fumble. And he does return it for a touchdown, but the ground did cause that, so the play was overturned. So we do end up um, still having the ball. So a uh, little bit before halftime right here, we would definitely like to be able to score a touchdown. Third and four, tried running the ball with Vontae, and he does pick up the first down. 
uh, which was big right there. 17 seconds left. Try a handoff. We try to falk him real quick, but that doesn't go. That doesn't do anything. Uh, second down right here. We try to go to the back of the end zone to Momo, but uh, we were unable to connect right there. Third down, I believe we tried again. No, we tried to go over the middle, and he drops the pass. So, uh, fourth down, I decided to go for it. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Let's see if we get in the end zone. Here we go to Momo, and this time the one-hand diving snag in the end zone. We do receive ball at halftime, and he does uh, try an onside, which we do recover. And, um, you know, right now he goes for a, a run commit. We tried a read option with... Went absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Here we go with Jamal Charles breaking tackles, spinning just the whirlpool right there in the middle. Definitely his best weapon. If you guys got a high elusive running back, just spin. Just spin and they will fall to the ground. It's crazy. <laughs> so we go up 28 to 7. And I definitely feel like game is uh, definitely uh, over. You know, uh, he doesn't really have a team that uh you know really can't compete against somebody who knows what they're doing at the game all right he backs up he just goes deep over the middle and again he, he finds somebody he is finding some some good some good routes deep over the field i'll give him that uh we get to him cause some pressure second and 10 right here he uh backs up he rolls out the pocket goes over the middle and another completion right there greg olsen is having a hell of a game size to go for him again and i'm sorry son but no of you give it to me baby right there was a huge interception and right there he ends up quitting the game so that's the end of the game guys hope you guys enjoyed we are now 2-0 on this brand new season um appreciate each and every single one of you guys who uh tune in to uh the video even though i know football season's over but uh still hopefully you guys are enjoying the content i'm out peace